The problem with botched weapons usually is that either they're not good on range or they require very expensive ammunition, which again destroys the budget thinking. That's why today we take a look at a build that is good on range, doesn't use a lot of ammunition and insanely cheap. Depending on the current price tags, you can get this weapon for 20,000 rubles. So without further ado, let's go to the workbench and start modding. The weapon that we talk about today is the ADAR, but the first problem with it is that this gear wants 45,000 rubles for this gun. And just, no, we're not paying that much. On the flea market, on the other hand, usually around 40,000. It's still way too expensive for us, so we need another way. The simplest one is basically just play as a scav, pick up ADARs that you find in raid. Same when you play as a PMC. Now the problem with those ADARs is basically that the durability is pretty bad. This leads to malfunctions, bad accuracy and we don't want that. So to avoid that what we do is we go to skier level 1. We buy the empty ADAR so to speak, disassemble our ADAR with the low durability and just move every single attachment from our ADAR to the new one. And there you go, you have a brand new ADAR with full durability for 7000 rubles. And now we can start modding. First thing is optional, but I would recommend that you use the 20 or max. It's better for efficiency and you get more ergonomics. And furthermore, it's a single fire weapon. So if you didn't kill your enemy after 20 rounds, yeah, chances are you're dead anyway. So I'd recommend the 20 or max. And on top, we mount an AR-15 rear sight carry handle. The magazine and the carry handle are both sold by Peacekeeper level 1, so available and cheap at the very early state of the game. And what this allows us to do is pretty nice, because this lets us directly attach one of four sides, which otherwise require pretty expensive mounts. Furthermore, those scopes are not really common, meaning they are usually very cheap on the flea market. And don't worry about the flea market, we will take a look at an alternative later on. But the cool thing about this is that we don't need the usual mount. We don't need to change the profile block in front because our scope can just see above it. And because the ergonomics of an ADAR is pretty high, you can scope in insanely quick. But if you play a map like Customs where close combat situations are common, you want a laser pointer. For that, mount as usual the low profile block. This allows you to use a rail. Which again lets you mount grip for more ergonomics and a laser pointer or a flashlight. You know, just for the case that mid rate you think like, well, why shouldn't I go dorms and just check out the situation there? Then you will be very glad about your flashlight. Now, in terms of rays, I would really recommend you use the AR 15 Daniel Defense RES 2. Because the cool thing about that one is that it's available at level 1 as well, at Peacekeeper. You can trade it for one of those emergency water supplies. Other than that, you're free to mount whatever you want. You can use a muzzle brake in front or not. It doesn't really depend on a single fire weapon like the ADAR. And that's basically it. So this is the shopping list that you need for the advanced build. As you can see, it's not much. But if you want to go for the simple one, then Wow, that's a really a budget gun right here. Now the cool thing about it is that since the ADAR has very very high ergonomics right from the get-go, it feels like in games like Rainbow Six Siege. The ADS time is very short, the weapon is very fast in terms of handling, which allows you to pop hats left and right. Now, if you don't have access to the flea market yet, you can still build the advanced one, you just don't have access to the ACOG yet. But since the weapon again has very very high ergonomics, you can get away with using something like a pilot, I don't know how it's pronounced, but the basic scope at Jäger level 1, which is also very very cheap, but it does the trick. And that's the build. Basically I've been running this gun for I don't know how many raids, just you know, when I'm too lazy to really mod something or for budget runs and I have to say it served me very very well. The high ergonomics is really just like, you see an enemy, you just ADS on his head, you click and there you go. It's super quick with this ADAR. And again, on maps where we have close range engagements, 
All we need is the rail that we just talked about, which allows us to mount a laser pointer or a flashlight. And we're good to go again for what, 30,000 rubles? I mean, show me a gun for this price that can do the same. It's absolutely amazing. So I hope it helps you as well. If so, don't forget to thumbs up as it really helps the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next video. Good luck in your raids. Bye bye.